Hey guys, what's up? It's been a long while, but here's the agenda for today. So I'm going to be reviewing Luxalon's new eco-friendly string, Luxalon Eco Power, and that is their new string that's supposed to be very environmentally friendly, at least more environmentally friendly than normal strings. And I'm going to be trying that out. I've got some video about of me hitting forehands, backhand slices. Um, I have my friend also try the string out so we can review that and I'm kind of going to compare it to the string that I usually use which is the Selenko Confidential uh, 16 Lite. The second thing on my agenda is I'm actually doing a giveaway in collaboration with Direct Tennis. We are giving away free sets of Yonex's new string, the Polytour Drive. So if you guys want to know how to win a free set of Yonex Polytour Drive, keep watching the video and I'm going to give you the steps on how you can enter the giveaway. Okay, so we're going to start with forehands and for some reason this week my forehand was just, I don't know, it just didn't feel good and I had one of my worst forehand weeks ever. But I still think I could get an accurate assessment of the string. Now with how I was hitting the ball, I felt like the sweet spot, it sent the ball really deep when I hit the sweet spot, which is nice. And if you're like an aggressive baseliner, it will grab your, it will like, the dwell time on the ball when you hit flat and aggressive is pretty long when you hit the center. And it sends the ball deep. That's what I've noticed. The other thing is though, when I tried to hit heavier or when I tried to cover the ball really quick, I didn't feel that the string gripped the ball as much so I wasn't able to shape the ball how I would shape it with my Selenko Confidential so I was less confident when I got a lot of height on the ball that my ball would actually come back down and into the court. So I did have to adjust the way that I was hitting with this to make my strokes a little bit more linear. Now I think some people that hit with less shape and just more aggressive in general will will enjoy this string because of the potential that it has to send a lot of the balls deep and it'll put you in a good court position now if you have a really whippy grindy forehand and you're taking steps back and trying to hit heavy topspin all the time i would not recommend this over other more spinny options but overall, I mean, it's a good string and definitely usable. I think if you're an all-around aggressive player, you're really going to like this on your forehand. Alright, on to backhands. So this string definitely felt better on my backhand, as it probably will for a lot of people's backhands, because most backhands are just flatter. And I would say that especially if you have a more right-handed like closer to an Eastern and you like to laser your backhands across the court the string will definitely help you get them deeper like I said um, when you hit the middle of the string it really carries and it really goes through the court so one interesting thing is I think the sweet spot actually felt slightly smaller than when I have confidential in this racket so I've played matches with this. Um, my backhand's never really an issue for me with this racket just because my racket is like more square to the court when I hit backhands, even though I can hit the heavy backhand, but if you have a two-handed backhand in general, it's just not gonna be as heavy as your forehand, and the string definitely allows you to hit through the ball pretty well. So, I'm thinking like the string is kind of more for an aggressive all-court game, um, not really for someone who's trying to get more height on the ball and grind it out with heavy top spins. Although like it's still it's a good string, so you're always going to be able to hit top spin, just not as much as maybe some other strings. All right, so who's ready to try to win free stuff? It's actually pretty easy. First, all you have to do is sub to my channel. Second, comment down below what your string of choice is. And third, follow Direct Tennis on Instagram because they are the ones who are supplying the winner with three free sets of the Yonex Polytour Drive. 
one other thing that I have to mention is that this giveaway is going to be US only for shipping reasons. So for anyone that's not in the US, I'm sorry, you're going to have to miss out on this giveaway. So don't forget, three steps is sub to the channel, comment your favorite string down below, and go follow Direct Tennis on Instagram. Now I'm going to leave all the links that you're going to need to know down below in the description, so check it out. Okay, so I think the general consensus of my friend and I both hitting with this string is that if you like to hit through the ball, this is a good string, and especially like if you play aggressively, the string will not fail to send the ball deep. It actually gives good depth, and the feel of the string when you hit the middle, um, it doesn't vibrate too much. It has a comfortable feeling. I would maybe prefer a little bit more um, like feedback on the racket when the ball hits the middle of the string but it still definitely feels pretty good. I just think, yeah, both of us had a little more trouble shaping the ball, and that's the consensus on the ground strokes. Okay, so the slice is a very important shot for me because I use it a ton when I'm nervous, like a lot of people, but I also really like to use my slice on offense and it's really important to a lot of patterns that I play such as hitting down the line slice to make them go cross court into my forehand but anyway so this string when you're slicing you're gonna feel that the type of slice that you want to hit with this is like an aggressive knifing slice that goes through the court because it doesn't grab the ball and give as much underspin as Maybe the Silenko Confidential. I know I sound biased on that string, but anyway, that's my favorite string. What can I say? But um, yeah, the aggressive slice, it's really deep and penetrating, and it's, it feels really good to hit with this, with this racket. I would not... I can still hit some side spins and make the ball spin a lot, but the thing that stands out with this string is when I hit right in the middle, and I just try to hit an aggressive slice, it feels really good. All right, now we're on to serves. My friend and I, I think both of us just had a same, the same general consensus about the string, which is good. Um, both of us hit first serves very well with this, actually especially if you get the ball at the height that you want and you allow for full extension and when you're hitting flatter serves it just has a really nice pocketing feel right when you snap and the ball goes through the court pretty quick i for me i don't hit that many flat serves using too just because it's not as high percentage and i like to try to serve more like a pitcher where i'm just mixing up my serves and not giving my opponent any rhythm so i do hit the flat serve once in a while for that but i really prefer to spin my serves a little bit more anyway the first serve, this racket felt way better, or this string felt way better, the uh, Luxalon Eco Power. I'll have it to felt, have to show it just felt good and it felt crisp, kind of like goes in line with the ground strokes. And I think like even like a hard slice felt pretty good. Yeah, but that could just be dead. That could just and be dead my too. friend's going to be hitting second serves very soon. But I think he also said he liked, yeah, he like felt like he had a lot of power. Now, right like now, Dreamer? he's using the Polytor. I mean, the Poly, yeah, the um, Polytor Drive from Yonex, which I will not be reviewing. What's the difference? But that is in the giveaway. If you haven't seen the giveaway details already, I just wanted to give him different strings to use so, like so that he could longer, um, you think? give like give me better feedback. I didn't want him to just uh, use okay. that one string because he doesn't even use my oh. racket, so... I wanted him to have like different point of reference for the string. Now on the second serve, both of us struggled to hit our kick serves as That's kicky fine. as we wanted them to be. It That's was kind of hard to get shape and topspin with this. 
I'm not doing a deep dive into the material that that is used to make this string because I'm more for just reviewing the type of string. I'm not really that big on the on exactly what it's made of. Yeah. I'm more about what it feels like and what it does for me. So yeah, like I said, I use this string in a match. And I was very careful with my second serves because I just didn't feel like it grabbed the ball as much as I want to. First serves, great. Second serves, um, the ones that I missed were pretty far into the net just because the ball didn't go as what are your up thoughts as so I far? wanted to when I brushed up. Would you like to hit ground strokes later? <laughs> <laughs> yes, do it. Which one do you like more for kicks? I don't like either of them to be honest. For they don't. They don't spin as much, huh? Yeah, they don't. They don't like grab the ball. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like these two strings are good for hitting through the ball. Yeah. They're not as like they're yeah, crisp. The serve, this one feels great. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. I guess this one, like when you hit when you hit the middle, it it absorbs really well and it feels really clean off the hit. For both, I. Like when I was, I played a set with this earlier. I've played a set with each of them, and I, I found that I had to hit flatter than when I was using my confidential, for sure. And the ball would go longer than expected, and I couldn't cover as fast because I don't, I don't think these grab the ball as much. Ball, especially when I don't want to get down and hit. So, um, I had to change my, I had to change the way I hit a little bit. Uh, I think if you're like kind of an all-around player, if you're, I don't think if, if you're a grinder, you definitely should probably not use the string. But if you're like an all-around player that like you can change up, go up, hit, and, and like volley and stuff, this the strings are fine, right? Um, this one's a little more precise. Yeah, I, I feel like I had to change my playstyle a little more on the Yonic string. Um, uh, honestly, they're they're both decent strings, um, but they they cater to different styles, um, yeah. like Les said. So um, honestly, they're they're good strings. So you just gotta find which one's right for you. Um, serving, I like the flat serve on this one. Um, the kick serve is is a uh, is a bit is a bit tough when you're trying to spin it. I feel like um, the contact didn't feel quite as solid for me. Um, yeah, it's like it it feels kind of soft. Yeah, I feel like it's like you hit it, it's kind of muted. True. And then I think this one has more vibration, so you can actually, I think this one you can feel the vibration a little more. Some people like that, some people don't. I prefer to be able to feel it. Um, well, this, these also both have damper. Do you usually play with damper? I don't play with uh, a damper. That's probably one. So. Yeah. And, but this one, I definitely can feel that the ball is wider off the strings when I hit it. So, yeah, I don't know. I still like confidential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I like okay. uh, confidential half G. So what's the, what rack do you use? I use the blade, the V8 blade. Um, oh, you have a right now? I have, uh, it's a custom, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So yeah, it's better. Okay, cool. Thanks, Thanks for having me. <laughs>